Welcome back everyone to Kidmade Modern Events. I'm your host, Lori. I'm so happy y'all can join us again today. Today, our awesome guest is Lily Soul. This is our first time with Kidmade Modern. She is an awesome mixed media artist and art instructor from Berkeley, California. And today she has an awesome art lesson for us on phobism. This is the first time I've ever heard of it and it's pretty awesome. So I think you guys are gonna like it. So make sure to check out our blog. There's a printable uh, for this art lesson and um, have so much fun. Make sure to check out Lily at Lily Soul Studio on Instagram. And if you craft with us today, make sure to tag at Kidmade Modern, hashtag go make stuff. Okay, everyone, have a great day. Hi there, my name is Lily Soul. I'm a mixed media painter and art instructor living in Berkeley, California. I'm so excited to be here with Kidmade Modern to teach you about Fauvism, a movement in modern art. And I'm also going to show you how to make your own colorful, vibrant goddess portrait. Fauvism is an innovative art style that originated in France at the turn of the 20th century by artist Henri Matisse. Now this style of painting uses really bright and vivid colors, bold brushstrokes to evoke more of a mood and a feeling than to represent the natural world. So here's a great example of Fauvist art created by Henri Matisse. It's called the Green Stripe and was painted in 1905. As you can see, coloring is not based on reality. Artists use spontaneous use of colors and strokes, and they pick these colors based on how they're feeling in the moment. There are no real rules or placement of color, but we can still follow basic techniques to create shadow and highlight using contrast. I really love how he used green on the nose, around the eyes, and the hair is even blue. So it's really wonky and unique. Let's look at another example. All right, here are two landscape Fauvis art styles. This one's The Turning Road by André Duran and The Boats at Collier. As you can see, he did a lot of fun, wild brush strokes using a rich, rich blue to represent the waters. And here he uses even some reds and blues in the trees. It's not exactly realistic, but the color really pops and stand out, stands out and it's super vibrant. Here's one more example that I super love. It's by Henry Matisse called The Open Window. Again, just uh, bold colors, strokes, and I'm super excited to do a painting in this style. So let's get started on our goddess portrait. All right, so here is a goddess portrait that I made for you guys. I've got my watercolors, my color pencils, pastels. And you're welcome to use any supplies that you've got. I'm just gonna start by picking colors that make me happy. So love hot pink. And the fun part about Fauvism Fauvis art is that there's no rules. You're just picking colors based off how you feel. And today I'm feeling pretty bright and happy, so I'm just gonna grab some really happy colors and mush them around my page. I'm not thinking too much about placement or what is realistic. I'm just having fun. Let's use some green as Henry would do. Make her nose nice and fine green. Now, if you do want to create some cohesion or consistency, then maybe pick one color to do sort of the highlights with and some of the shadows with, as you did with the greens. We're just gonna go ahead and replicate that. I also love turquoise, so I'm gonna just wear some turquoise down here in the background. Just have fun. So again, just picking old vivid, vivid colors and laying it down not overthinking it Phobus really just kind of broke the rules on what was considered the norm and it really opened the door for future artists to do other more bold and wild styled artwork so be loose and happy and have fun. Ooh, purple moon. Maybe you want to try some more detailed marks or strokes. I think I'll just do some strokes on her dress to just create a little texture.
And you can see by working kind of quickly, you really kind of create this abstract freedom. I'd say that's pretty wild. Thanks so much for joining me here on Kid Made Modern. I had a lot of fun playing with color and making goddess portraits, and I hope you do too. If you make something, maybe you'll tag me on Instagram at Lily Soul Studio. Now go make stuff.